Hello, hello. I thought I'd uh, put myself on camera just one more time since this is our last screencast together. Uh, I thought uh, I would kind of try to make eye contact with you and say thank you for all your hard work uh, this semester. Let's finish things strongly, okay? Uh, so let me, let me get my mug out of here. All right. So here we are, uh, weeks seven and eight. Uh, I think that we can collapse the last two weeks' uh, agenda into one email, one screencast, and um, a relatively brief number of assignments that uh, I'm just going to talk about fairly quickly here. Uh, there are plenty of sample essays, collaborative essays out there. Um, these are all pretty good. Um, you know, they're not perfect. Not, no essay ever is. But uh, as you're in your groups now, um, as you're locked into your groups, and as you're beginning to write um, your collaborative essays, I thought it'd be fun for you to see a couple of these. So you can certainly add pictures. Uh, lots of groups feel a little better putting all the movies in order together uh, you know, at the beginning of the essay. That's fine. It's not a requirement. Um, but like I said, I don't, I really don't like teaching from sample essays because I feel like it's, uh, I, I feel like I'm, you know, when I do that, uh, I'm creating some sort of impossible standard for you to, to follow. And so I don't, I'm not wild about them, but, uh, to be frank in online settings, uh, they cover a lot of ground that maybe we could cover face to face in other ways. Uh, so feel free to, um, consult any of these, all of these. Oh. It's my Amazon page. I was shopping earlier today. Um, let's see. Uh, so there's four from there. Check those out. Uh, there's SA5, Rough Draft, Help, Handouts. Uh, and this, you know, gives you just a basic uh, suggestion for how to, you know, go about structuring, you know, the basic sort of architecture of the collaborative essay. So uh, feel free to read it. Uh, you know, just sort of you have an intro portion, then uh, a paragraph per movie in the order that you want them in, um, where you kind of achieve all the essays goals within that paragraph uh, or the assignments goals that that, that is to say and uh, then, you, then you wrap things up usually with the meal okay um, what else uh, assignment criteria these are basically the things I'll be looking for um, my department's not huge on having rubrics or like lists like this but uh, every now and again especially when you're when you're collaborating I feel like it is not a waste of anybody's time to uh, have a list of qualities that you know you know that I'm going to be looking for so uh, this is a horribly formatted document and forgive me for that but you just want to make sure that you're hitting all these these things that, that your theme is you know it's well explained it's detailed uh, it's got an educational value it's logical uh, you know the the meal is thoroughly explained it's you know ties in the theme and then um, you know all the basic beats of the assignment so keep that out I tried to keep it like a one sheet um, and I call it even I even call it a one sheet here uh, one sheet, so you can maybe print it off and just have it nearby as you're writing and revising, that sort of thing. Uh, now here's the one kind of weird part. We can hear the wind picking up here in my backyard. We're um, expecting rain. Maybe I'm going to get rained on. That would make for an interesting final screen cast. Um, so uh, final draft prep. This is just uh, the only thing that I would really send you in week eight. Um, so what uh, you can look at in here is, um, I know you've seen the one-page essay assignment uh, uh, last week. In week six, but uh, you can, you know, kind of consult this as well. Uh, the last essay is meant to be sort of a reflection not only on how did the group project go, but how did college composition go for you uh, this summer. So feel free to, um, you know, consult uh, the long form assignment and the screencast that accompanies it. Um, although I should note that I did tweak the one page assignment a little bit. Don't forget, uh, per the email, um, hopefully you're looking at that assignment. Um, it'll be okay either way. No matter what assignment you're looking at, you really can't do the, the, the individual reflection wrong. Uh, as long as you're looking back and, and considering your performance in here and uh, in, in, in our class together. Um, so then the back to the, the agenda here. Um, finish essay five. Make sure it's awesome. I am more than happy to check in on rough drafts. I probably will do so whether you ask me to or not uh, over the next down a week or so whenever your group is ready. Uh, and then you also have to complete your individual essay. So um, there's the assignment again down here. You can, you can pop that open too if you'd like. And even if you don't. There it is. Uh, so uh, part of it should be your collaborative project, and part two should be uh, more about you. So again, short and sweet, because I you know, want you to write it from sort of an authentic place. Uh, that's, that's more important to me than just about anything else. So uh, look, I'm giving you until Thursday, July 27th, OK? Uh, grades are due not long after that, so please don't push me on this. I, I really want to get grades in. Uh, as quickly as as possible, um, and so that will mean uh, a little uh, it'll be a, maybe a little short uh, on the feedback. I hope not, but uh, if any groups need a little extra time, I can give it to you. I just can't give you a ton of extra time. Okay, um, and so that's uh, those are our last two weeks. Uh, you know, group works. You know, lots of instructors just cancel 
you know, multi classes to uh, let their students do the collaborative essay. Uh, I'm not that guy, uh, but I can also be reasonable, I suppose is uh, the best way to put it. So, uh, okay, so how are we doing? Are you, um, are you, are you, are you getting sad? Let's see. Oh, and my kids down at the bottom there. Uh, are you sad our time's up? Uh, I know these summer classes are uh, a whirlwind of activity for as hard as they are to complete. Uh, they're very difficult to teach as well. And so uh, I want you to know that I appreciate uh, your hard work. And uh, each and every one of you, uh, are you're more than welcome to come visit me in my office. Uh, I'm in the K building, K203, uh, over at Stark's main campus. Uh, you, you all have my email. Uh, you want to set an appointment up to, to meet with me about anything forever now. Um, like it or not, you are my students forever. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to treat you that way. Uh, I also do a lot of informal advising. So uh, if you have trouble getting your advisor on the phone um, or getting a meeting with them, you uh, are getting a pretty typical Stark State experience. So uh, uh, please, if I can help you schedule or help you figure out what you need for your major, that sort of thing, uh, I take my advising very seriously. Um, there's um, a lot of research that says that students at uh, two-year schools need really strong advising, and that's not something that uh, Stark is, we're not quite there yet. Uh, so please, if there's ever anything I can help you with, please let me know. Uh, if you ever need uh, a piece of writing looked at, any, any piece of writing, please send it my way. I still have students from the 90s that send me their poetry to, uh, to be edited and to be, you know, sort of to get feedback. So please do that. Please uh, track me down. Um, what else? What else? Oh, if you ever need a letter of recommendation or a reference for anybody, I write a pretty mean letter. Uh, I'm a writing teacher after all. So uh, I'd be happy to, to do that for any of you. Um, yeah, if you're watching this and if you're working on this final project, uh, you are impressing me. Uh, there are lots of students who can't cut it and I mean we, we were a much bigger class when we started this when I made this my, the first screencast in the same backyard uh, you are here and you're you're surviving and you're thriving um, I'm looking forward to reading your uh, research essays when um, I feel like they're in a good place but uh, if you have any questions for me now or forever going forward uh, I hope you'll ask me okay so um, on that note uh, best of luck to you uh, honestly legitimately okay um, here I go all right see ya uh, and uh, please keep in touch.